Welcome back, everybody. Let us continue our exploration of Feldpost's Inn. And find the one we seek, this Transig. First, let's sell some items to the bartender. Clear up our inventory a little bit. See what we have to offer. Sell you this amulet, these gauntlets, just don't put them on. Some armor. Ooh, these two potions, actually. I don't think we're ever going to find a use for them, so might as well sell them to get our money back. And that should just about do it. With our newfound wealth, are there any items here that we could use? I don't think so, really. Some bracers might be nice, but we'll manage without them. So let us continue to explore. I don't see anyone named Transig down here, so let's check upstairs real quick. Perhaps he's staying in one yeah. of the bedrooms. We shall keep our eyes open for him. Around you, I almost feel that we have a chance. If our party can navigate through this bustling tavern. It's quite crowded. There we go. All right, let's see who we have here. Transic. All right. Well, doesn't seem like he's making much of an effort to conceal himself here. We also have Algernon. Shall I speak to Algernon real quick? Although I don't have any flowers to bring with me. Doesn't want visitors. Alright, respect his wishes. Let's go check out this room here. With Helm's blessing. Bimowen, stay behind. I've done had enough of this. Looks like he doesn't care much for the people filing into his room and taking up aggressive positions around him. That will be his downfall. He's in a hurry to get out of this damn town. Well, perhaps you could tell us why you're in such a hurry. You won't be rid of us that easily. We know that you're up to no good. Now tell us everything you know. He seems to be a mage. If the quarterstaff and robes were not any indication. He is giving us five seconds to leave before he blasts us away. We're not afraid of any mage. If you want to fight, then bring it on. And now we pay the price. Let's cast some sort of protective armor, ghost armor spell. That'll make him harder to hit. We struck Khalid with an acidic arrow. It will continue to damage him. And some magic arrows as well. I think we'll be alright there. Let's heal Khalid before anything. Thing happens. Perhaps quickly on hands. That's just about to do it. Be safe with another. Ooh, and Jahira is actually leveled up, so let's see what that gives her. She has another proficiency point to spend. And although she is a fighter, she's also a druid. And part of the issue with being a multi-class is that you have all the downsides of both. So even though a fighter should be able to reach Grand Mastery level, her druidic nature limits her, so I'll not be able to put any more points into these. Let's go with the spear, I suppose. And it seems like she's able to cast level 2 spells now. Let's see what we have. Charm, person, or mammal. That could be quite potent, so we'll have a point in there. And resist fire or cold. Uh, knowing alignment. Let's go with the slowing poison. It neutralizes all but the most deadly of poisons. We'll take that as an insurance against venomous attacks. Let's see what we have here. Unidentified ring, wand, a letter, and some gold. We'll take all of it. Let's read that letter. Trenzig from Tazok. Seems he is perplexed as to why Mulahe has not communicated in some while. I might know the answer to that. And he implores Transig to figure out the uh, condition of Mulahe's operation in the mines. He says that their next raid will most likely take place at the Peld Vale or Lars Wood, so he's to visit those areas and then track him back to the camp. Let's look at our map real quick. And here we have the bandit camp, far to the northeast, as Elminster suggested, but we need to find the Peld Vale or Lars Wood, which will lead us there. So... Let us make way for the north, then. Yeah. Seems like 
Algernon here is unfazed by the commotion in just the next room over. With Let's continue on. We are prepared for combat with our various spells at the ready. Everyone's rested for now. Let's continue on. It'll actually be faster to leave to the west, I th or south, I would think, and then journey north. So we shall make our way. As a new day dawns. Let's head north, perhaps from the farmland or the friendly arm in. Let's try our bets here. Night has fallen. Let's head east, see if we can find what we're looking for. So once more, the Larswood or the Peldvale. Perhaps one of those two shall make an appearance. Ooh, what is this that we have here? At the base of this tree, there seems to be something amiss. A ring, stored at the roots of the tree. How odd. It has not been identified. We are at the Friendly Arm Inn. We could always stop back with our friend Bentley Mirror Shade. Let's actually do that. See what mystic powers this ring might possess. How odd. There would be a ring kept here. Just at the base of this tree right here. It's kind of hard to pinpoint, but it is there. So let us... You will. Stop and see our old friend Bentley. A quick save, perhaps. Mm. Could always rest as well. We have been traveling for some time, and fatigue is undoubtedly close to setting in. But we'll see what happens when we get there. Might even stop and see our old friend Unche. How her, her belts are faring after we liberated them from the menacing ogre to the south. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party. Stop and see what we have here. I need some Helm, yeah. There's our good friend Bentley. We could also swap some tales with him. It's been quite a while since we last stopped by here. I'd be interested to hear what we have to say. Oh, but he unfortunately can't identify. That's fine, though. Let's see what we have here. Sell off our shield and ring. Or sword and shield, rather. Potions. I would really like to get these identified, if at all possible. Does not have any scrolls of identification, either. It's unfortunate. Not a problem, though. Shall continue on our way. We shall make our way to the east. You must gather your party before venturing See what lies forth. beyond the woods. With Something that blessing. I might like to do while we're traveling is to go over the pages of these books we have here. They really are quite fun to read. Some of them are rather long, but they do offer a wealth of information. Perhaps my favorite, The History of the Dead Three, tells the story of three mortals by the names of Bane, Baal, and Mirkel, and their ascension to godhood after meeting with the Lord of the End of Everything, perhaps one of the most powerful deities in the multiverse, Jurgle. So that could be a tale for another time when we have hours and hours to spare while traveling through the woodlands perhaps I'll keep that in mind yeah but for now we should formulate a plan for how exactly we're going to find this Tazok and his bandit operation just to summarize the events thus far we explored the depths of the Nashgal mines we found Mulahe who is a half-ogre, and he was manipulating the kobolds with him to not only terrorize the miners, prevent them from extracting ore from the earth, but poisoning the very rock that they found. 
which has led to this iron crisis with the all-important material rotting in your own hands before it can even be forged into weaponry.